This video was made possible by Mizizi International, the official African diaspora clothing brand. Visit MiziziShop.com for more information. President Felix Chisakedi has sent shockwaves throughout East Africa and the rest of the continent. Thanks to very bold and provocative comments he made while campaigning to secure a second term in office ahead of the DRC's highly anticipated December 20, 2023 election. Tensions between Rwanda and the DRC have skyrocketed in recent weeks, with accusations of Rwandan incursions in eastern Congo and escalating rhetoric. About two weeks ago, Congolese President Shisakedi branded Rwandan leader Kagame a dictator and shockingly compared him to Hitler, and a spokesperson for Rwanda's government described the Congolese president's comments as a loud and clear threat. This heated exchange, amidst a long history of distrust and conflict, has plunged relations between the two neighbors to a new low and raised concerns about regional stability. And now, Shisakedi has promised voters that if re-elected, he will declare war on Rwanda. Why did Chisakiti say such a provocative thing? What has led to such bad blood between the two neighbors? And could we see an actual invasion of Rwanda by the DRC? Join us in today's video as we shed more light on these questions in great detail. Before we dive into our topic today, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channels and ringing the bell to be notified about all our exciting future videos. To better understand why we are on the brink of a potential war between the DR Congo and Rwanda, it is necessary to highlight the long-standing history of bad blood between the two neighbors. Indeed, there is no love lost between Rwanda and the DRC, dating all the way back to the 1994 genocide in Rwanda, which killed an estimated 1 million Tutsis and moderate Hutus. Many of the perpetrators of the violence fled to the DRC, which was known at the time as Zaire. Rwanda's post-genocide government launched military operations in an attempt to bring the perpetrators back home to face justice, and Rwanda believes the DRC is still a safe haven for those responsible for the 1994 attack. Today, both sides are adamant that the other is hell-bent on destabilizing their governments and breaking past agreements and international norms. Rwanda accuses the DRC of collaborating with the forces Democratiques de Liberation du Rwanda, also known as the FDLR, a rebel group whose stated goal is to overthrow the Rwandan government. Similarly, the DRC accuses Rwanda of violating its sovereignty by supporting M23, a rebel group formed in 2012 by former members of the Congolese army who mutinied and are now sworn to fighting the armed forces of the Democratic Republic of Congo, or FARDC, in eastern Congo. In December 2022, tensions between Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of Congo escalated significantly, marking a particularly frosty period in their relationship. Early that month, Rwandan President Paul Kagame accused his Congolese counterpart, Felix Shizaki, of exploiting the Eastern DRC crisis to delay elections. A few days later, Shizaki criticized Rwanda, labeling it a demonic regime and condemning Kagame as an exemplar of degenerate African leaders. That same month, the DRC announced the dismantling of a spy network in Kinshasa allegedly working for Rwanda and in January 2023. Rwanda claimed to have fired at a DRC fighter jet violating its airspace, a move that the DRC branded an act of war. On December 9, 2023, Shisakiti likened Kagame to Hitler, accusing him of harboring expansionist aims in the DRC. And now, during his final election rally in Kinshasa ahead of the December 20, 2023 elections, Shisakiti threatened to declare war on Rwanda if re-elected signaling a dangerous and potentially irreparable deterioration in diplomatic relations between the two nations. Parlement, 
na sengi bango ba pesa nga yi autorisation na deklare guerre na Rwanda. So why did Shizakiri make such incendiary comments? Well, facing competitive re-election and simmering public frustration with alleged Rwandan-backed rebel activity in eastern DRC, Shizakiri has opted for a provocative gamble, threatening war with Rwanda. Analysts believe this nationalist rallying cry just before the December 2023 elections wasn't just a burst of frustration. It was a calculated political gamble aimed at securing votes from a key demographic, nationalist voters. Facing a crowded field of 20-plus candidates, including heavyweights like Moise Katumbi and Martin Fayulu, Shisakidi needed to stand out. He recognized the simmering frustration among Congolese citizens at perceived Rwandan interference in the eastern DRC conflict, particularly through the M23 rebel group. By adopting a tough stance, promising an end to diplomacy, and even threatening war, Shisakidi tapped into this nationalistic fervor. He has gambled that this aggressive posturing would resonate with voters fed up with the insecurity and perceived Rwandan dominance, solidifying their support and potentially propelling him over the finish line in a tight race, securing his second term. He's essentially putting everything on the line, betting that strong-arm rhetoric will outweigh the possible dangers and complexities of inflaming tensions with a neighboring country and also Trump policy substance in a politically charged environment. So, all things considered, could we actually see an invasion of Rwanda by the DRC? While Chisakiti's fiery rhetoric undoubtedly fanned the flames of nationalism, experts think a full-blown DRC invasion of Rwanda appears improbable. His audacious campaign gambit targeted domestic audiences, aiming to solidify his nationalist credentials and secure re-election, not spark a devastating regional war. The prospect of such a conflict is simply too costly and unpredictable. Both nations are grappling with internal challenges, economic instability, and international scrutiny. Additionally, a war would jeopardize regional trade and potentially destabilize the entire Great Lakes region. However, experts warn that entirely underestimating the simmering tensions between these neighbors would be naive. Decades of distrust and historical animosity, fueled by issues like the Rwandan genocide, the ongoing conflict in eastern DRC, and the recent war of words between both leaders create a volatile backdrop. Shizakidi's aggressive rhetoric, even if posturing, risks escalating existing tensions and pushing the relationship beyond repair. While an all-out war may be unlikely, an unpredictable incident or miscalculation could spark smaller skirmishes or border clashes, further destabilizing the already fragile region. The future remains uncertain and only time will tell if Chisakidi's gambit truly pays off or if it becomes the tragic catalyst for an all-out war between Rwanda and the DRC. So what do you think? Do you think Felix Chisakidi of the DRC will follow through on his threats of invading Kagame's Rwanda after re-election, sparking an all-out war between the two neighbors? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, do subscribe to the new Africa channel for more informative future videos.